Hello everyone, this is Ji Chen, a technical support engineer for Fast and Safati. In this video, I will show you how to complete material properties in Admin Materials program. We have another how to video on how to access Admin Materials and how to add a new component. We will use isobutane as an example, and as you can see here, isobutane has already been added to the list of system components. It now carries a red exclamation mark, which indicates there is missing information with this material. Double click on isobutane to enter the properties dialog. In this dialog, all properties are listed alphabetically in the view panel on the left hand side. And when you select any property, the property value is presented on the right hand side. When a new component is added as an existing component from the dipper list, most of the properties are automatically populated with data. You will find check mark in front of property if data is present. However, there are properties which are compulsory for modeling but missing property values. Those properties are labeled with red, red marking front. For example, the flammable toxic flag. This tells the software what type of hazard effects the model and now it is labeled in red. It is user's responsibility to find those incomplete properties and populate data for them. Please note, software may require more data fields to be populated after certain property is specified. Take flammable toxic flag, for example. If you specify this as flammable, then there are more flammable hazard related properties becoming compulsory such as luminous smoky flame flag, which is applied in pool fire modeling. Version 8.2 or version 8.22, there is a known defect which prevents software from refreshing those effect related properties. For instance, now I have set the material as flammable, but the luminous smoky flame flag is not labeled red as it's supposed to be. As a workaround, you need to OK the dialog to save your changes and exit the dialog. And you find the isobutane still carries the red exclamation mark. Next time when you enter the dialog, you will find that now some flammable related properties have become compulsory including this luminous smoky flame flag. We apologize for this defect and we will fix this in our future releases. If you're using any other version than version 8.2 or version 8.22, you will be fine as those properties with incomplete data show up automatically in the dialog. It is not the purpose of this video to recommend what values to use for missing property data of isobutane. Here we simply have input some placeholder values and so far there's no more property labeled in red. That means we have filled in all mandatory property data. We do have an FAQ about recommendations for finding missing data and you may download this FAQ guidance document from our customer portal. After making sure there is no more red labeled properties, you may now OK and exit the dialog. If the red explanation mark persists even after double checking there's no more missing data, you may right click on the material and choose check all data and results. And then the explanation mark will be gone. This inconvenience is also caused by the defect that we mentioned earlier. Now the data input process for isobutane has been complete 
and you may go to file tab and click on save to save your progress. You may enter some description here for changes you have made and it will be logged in the panel below for tracking purposes. After clicking on OK, the system materials have been successfully updated. In the ribbon, there is another button called Upgrade System Materials. Don't get confused as this upgrade button has nothing to do with save. This upgrade function is used to upgrade a materials file from an earlier version. When you click on it, the program automatically looks for the materials file from an earlier version installed on the same computer. For example, here I have version 8.22 installed and I can find the m8tls.xml materials file for version 8.22. If you choose this materials file and then click on the open, FAST will upgrade the system materials from version 8.22 to your current version. This is all I have for today's video. Thanks for watching and I hope you find it helpful.